everybody in here sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you and I only got one doggy but he's a good doggy I got off the phone with Donna yesterday evening we had a nice long conversation and Judy's settling in over there and she promises she's gonna send me some photos so I'll be able to share those with you but as you can see I'm all bundled up <laughs> I look like a monk or something it's freezing in here um, I think the temperature is just it's like in the mid 20s outside right now but it is going to warm up a little bit today it's sunny outside i'm going to get plenty of solar so that's a good thing because the last i don't know week or so um i haven't had a lot of sun so when i don't have a lot of sun i don't have a lot of solar but uh i wanted to show you something that the ups guy delivered yesterday hang on let me grab it here it is it is my tea pipe now i had one of these on my uh, Amazon wish list, but it was almost $80. These things are expensive. And um, I've been having some issues with the smoke coming in the wood burning stove. And it is because it needs to be cleaned out more, but it also has to do with the elbow pipe and some of the connections outside need to be sealed up a little bit better so the air is not flowing properly. How I got this, um, I went back to Amazon and I just couldn't fathom having anybody pay like basically $80 for this and I really needed it bad. So I had um, some gifts that were sent to me um, in cards, um, an Amazon gift card. I'm trying to remember. Oh, I know that um, Margaret Heathcote sent a card with, with some cash in it. So that went in on it. Um, I think it was Grandma Nett who sent me an Amazon gift card. Um, I applied that to it and then like $10 of my own money. But this one is not the one that I had on my wish list. Um, the one that I had on my wish list, like I said, was $80. And then I went back to Amazon and I just wanted to see if maybe something had come down on price or there was another one that was cheaper. And there was. I found one by a different manufacturer and um, it was only $50. And then there was one used one available that was half that price, basically $25, $28, something like that. So I snatched that up and um, I knew it could have some flaws in it because when you buy used stuff, that, that is the case. But it's in pretty good condition. It doesn't look like it's even been burned, not even once, but let me show you. It has some areas where I'm going to have to unbend this and it's not going to be a problem. I just, um, I'll get some pliers and just pull it out. I don't even know if I really need to. This is the bottom part. So I don't need to fit this onto anything um, to remove the cap. And for some reason, I thought it was just going to screw out, but it's got a little bolt here. I just need to take that off and then the, the cap comes off. But on this end, this is the end that goes into the pipe that goes into the wall. This is bent, and it's got a little gasket ring thingy that, I don't know what you call that, to prevent the smoke. Um, and that's part of the problem that's going on out there right now. Smoke is leaking right where this attaches. But I'm going to have to kind of straighten out some of those edges, which is not going to be a problem at all. It is worth not having to pay like 80 bucks for one of these. Um... And yep, that's the only flaws. So it's going to install this way. This is the wall. And this goes into, there's another three inch double wall pipe that will fit right into here. And with that going in, with that little meshy thing in there, um, it's going to seal up so much better. So I won't have smoke leaking from right outside the window. And this is going to be great. So I'm going to install this a little bit later, but I also... Um, went to the dump yesterday mr lucas i had not been and i didn't know where it was so he says well come on and um, we were gonna go in his car but i had all this trash in the back of my truck so i said come on just come on over we'll pick up your trash and my trash we'll just take it on over there went to the bump dump so um show you a little bit of footage of that it's just a little bit we ended up going to tractor supply company too i needed some chicken feed and and whatnot and he needed some um some chicken food too so we went and took care of that so, oh, let me just finish my coffee and warm up and then get going. Guess what, you guys? I got Mr. Lucas and he's taking me to the dump in my truck. All right. All right, here we are. We are at the dump. Mr. Lucas is doing all the hard work. <laughs> I'm going to help him here in a minute. Mission accomplished. Not so hard, huh, Mr. Lucas? Nah. This is... Yay. So now I can just come face. here and... 
Papa! Goodness, he loves Mr. Lucas. We just got back from doing errands. We went to Tartar Supply, got him some cracked corn, got me some chicken feed, some mealworms and whatnot. Um, and it's like noon and I haven't let the chickens out yet, so I'm gonna go do that right now. Hopefully I got a ton of eggs. Ah, there's five, but I think that last leghorn won't lay again today because she laid so late yesterday, but that's, that's plenty. I've taken the little bolt out of the side of this. That little cap fits pretty snugly up inside there, so I don't think that I'm going to need to have the bolt to hold it in place. And I just pull the bottom out of it and uh, to clean it up. I straighten this out a little bit. We'll see if I did a good enough job because that's the part that needs to go into the three inch pipe that's going through the window. So let's see if I can get this done. I also wanted to show you kind of the problem that I'm having. You can see that there's little smoke thingies up around. I don't know if I'm getting this because the sun is shining weird. So I'm getting smoke out of here. So that means there's something going not right with the pipe in here. So I'm going to have to take this all apart and check it out and see what's going on. And then I may need to put some of that uh, foil tape around the outside of this too. Before I even take this apart, I just want to show you how bad this is. Yeah, yeah, I think that explains a lot. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then down here, you may not be able to see it very well, but that whole pipe is encrusted and there's a bunch that is just kind of accumulated right here in the bend of the elbow. So this elbow pipe is coming off. I'm gonna clean it completely out bottom to top and hopefully get this T thing on so that it'll work. That may be a better shot of it. You can see down in there how much has been encrusted down in there. Whew. That's a lot. So yeah, we're going to be getting rid of this. Well, I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm just not going to keep it on, on here. <laughs> You can see daylight through it. Yeah, grabbing that little thing. That's what I need to use. But look at all of this. Can you see all that? That could have caught on fire. So, time to put it all together. Got that nice and cleaned out too. And attach the T-pipe. Oh my gosh, I hope it works. Well, this is a perfect fit. This way, this is, this is the pipe that goes through the window right here. But the problem is this part doesn't want to fit up into my stovepipe. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments. Mr. Lucas to the rescue. I had to take it over to his place. And I know why they, the people returned this. Because they were probably trying to do exactly what I am. Remember when I showed you how bent it was? Well, we bent it up even some more. Um, what we had to do is set this down on top. Get a piece of wood this is mr lucas idea <laughs> and he got a hammer and he just banged on it it bent it up a little bit and that's what the other people probably did too they probably bent it up a little bit um but i've straightened it back out and i can still get the cap in and out holds it just fine 
but we got this tap down into the pipe so now I'm going to be able to put it all together. Whew. put back together in here I had to completely remove all of this foil tape and you may be wondering why is she using all that foil tape well because these pipes are not the same size as these so there's little gaps and this wood <laughs> this wood is starting to warp it's the only piece of wood that I can use right now to fit in here um, the little nails are coming off the wall thimbles so there's a little gap uh, I tried banging on it a little bit I did straighten it out some but um, this board is very fragile. It's not treated with anything. Um, so no, this is not the way I'm going to keep this. I'm going to take it up and out through the wall. But for right now, this is what I'm doing. And so anywhere where there seemed like there was a gap, um, I went ahead and taped it. Taped it around here too and taped it around here too. So when I fire it up, I will see if there's any smoke and hopefully not because I actually taped it a little bit better than the last time. So yay, oh, that's done. And once again, we're outside. I'm not gonna seal up any of this. I'm not gonna tape the little gaps or anything until I do my next burn. I wanna see if smoke is still getting out. And if it is, that means I've not done something right. But that's awesome. We did it. It's getting kind of late. I had been over at Mr. Lucas, helped him move some wood around. I also raked up a bunch of his pine needles around his trees out front and put them in the chicken yard. He brought his tractor over with his big, um, you know, uh, trailer thingy. And so we loaded up two big loads of pine needles and they're going into the chicken. Well, they're in the chicken yard right now because it's just so muddy there. And you really don't want your chickens to be walking on all that mud all the time, you know. So, um, I'm going to let them hunt and peck around in it and spread it out and whatnot. And I am thinking it's going to take two more loads of pine needles, but he doesn't want them at the base of his trees anyhow, and I can use them. So yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Anyhow, um, I'm going to, I'm going to burn a fire tonight and I'll let you know how it went and whether or not I got smoke into the tiny house. I shouldn't because, um, that pipe is very clean now. It's very, very clean. It's going to be so much easier to clean from here on out. And um, I'll let you know if I got any smoke on the outside too, because that's a big issue. I want to make sure that the smoke is going up the pipes and not like out and, you know, just right outside the window. Um, I don't want that to happen. Anyhow, um, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.